Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You could call me Shay for short. And today we are going to be doing a viewer request. All right. So remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. I just seen this pop up on my stuff and already I got four people in my DMs on Instagram. I'm thinking that they are gonna say I look cute, but they were like, CJ put out a new video. Well, I mean, I would still take I'm cute compliments anyway, but I'll be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I, have got a black friend. I think I look like a cute banana split. So uh, <laughs> let's jump into it. Coming up on this special programming of. Hold up, wait a minute. Move that out the way. And before anybody says anything, I have talked shit about JoJo in the past and I will continue to talk shit about JoJo. Uh, I said what I said. Your fan base is, is trash. There you go. Loco Baroco. I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison and this is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about? Should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor. It's just your ass up! Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon? Goddamn prison! Cause Jolene has been locked up. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Cause my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, please <laughs> sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. <laughs> you punk ass, yeah, punk ass. Fatherless behavior. <laughs> And a priest beating in the name of the Holy Spirit on this special programming of. Okay, oh, okay. Well then. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, all right, so uh, how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells, and they talking about master. What? I beg your pardon? So huh. That happened. Something about the moonlight going in through the shape of the window box. <laughs> this can't be happening right now. This is the first scene of the season and they already talking about. It I mean, at least they not talking about booty goons. Go ahead, insert the clip, Shay. Ladies what? and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you, and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. Oh, he a booty gun. You smart. In this unsanitary ass cell. And then old girl talking on the left like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? And then Jolene start talking and she like, uh-uh-uh, don't be talking, boo-boo. I could tell just by your finger. You in here for <laughs> and some. I beg your pardon. What the fuck is going on in JoJo? I thought I thought it was about a nigga who wore who wore uh, tight outfits that make me jealous. Um, wait a wait a minute. Like, what is going on? People really wonder why this show was called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So then old girl like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Jolene Cujo, 19 years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. Miss Cujo, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? Times are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? Well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding. No, no, can we go back for a second? <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Is this nigga an elf? Is he half elf? 
oh Shay, you being a smart ass again. No, I'm not, okay? I told you I don't watch the tight pants episodes and stuff like that. So is he an elf or is that just his ears? Because her ears look regular with her with her cap shoulder definition and a back that is beautiful. Um sorry i like to work out her, her she has a very nice sculpted back but why is he why can he fly fly away why is he dumbo is there a purpose can he hear can he hear my internal thoughts it, can he hear other people internal thoughts is this our lawyer why he bringing up her past these are questions that we need to have answered okay all right this is gonna be another episode of shay don't know shit and put it in a comments section below or for all my people who come to my premieres shout out to my members go ahead and write it on the comments down here and i'm gonna try to understand why this dude can fly away with his ears thank you well can you just please explain the situation well you see what had happened was me and my nigga romeo was riding down the street now i thought he was real cute even though his barber f this shit up right before he picked me up i don't know what he was going for but miss cujo please get back to the situation oh my bad chief so uh long story short we ended up hitting a nigga so I'm trying to call 911, but Romeo said, Jolene, don't do it. Homie already dead. So let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. So obviously I'm freaking out and everything. But that escalated quickly. You sure he did? This, this is how, um... This is how what you, well, I, I know what you did last summer happened. Like, I'm not saying you should double tap. Get shot in your shit. Him, but what I am saying is, um, well, we don't need to compound this thing. Like, like basically, basically, if you call the police right now, it will be v vehicular manslaughter. So, so you looking at, um, and most, in most states is three to 10 years and everything else. If you don't have any prior charges, which she has two prior charges, they probably max out, but she won't even, she won't even get penalized because of the fact of the matter is she was a passenger. So she would, she, she wouldn't get penalized for that. He would. So, I mean, I ain't saying snitch, but. Don't care. Stay mad. <laughs> but then he said, Jolene, listen, I'm Romeo and you my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So we shoved him in the trunk and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? I ain't telling you, nigga. I ain't no fed. <sighs> Yo, funeral then. Uh, just for the people who don't know, all of those messages are recorded. Everything is recorded in that room. So if the guards don't like you, you can, you are liable to get. I'm just just gonna throw it out there. This is the most dry snitching shit I've ever heard. Look, Romeo, Romeo ran him over, but I ain't saying nothing. You, you, so you just told me what happened. Nah, I ain't saying nothing though. Okay. So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray and on this tray is a pendant and he says it's from her dad. So obviously she like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant ends up plucking her. And well, we all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, no, I let's don't. let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting transported over to the prison. And then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f going on? It's your girl, Ermes. This my second time in here. And for this offense, I'm in here for robbing the 7-Eleven across the street. So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five 20s in one and 50 in the other. So they tell I know women use they, they bras for, for different type of things. I hold some stuff in there from time to time. Okay, whatever. I have never, <laughs> I heard of your bra's pockets, but the inside of your boob, what the hell is going on in JoJo? Jolene to get off. So when she gets off, she can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Ermes. 
So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. And that thread ended up slicing off homie's ear. Oh my God. So then after this, she ends up having her trial. And this is where it started to get wild. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal, but the thing is, she has thread? I didn't want to say nothing, but is she Spider-Man? Oh, no, you didn't, bitch. Yeah, no, you I didn't. Like, that. like, she got the whole Spider-Man gear on and stuff like that. Is she Spider-Man? Hold on, you get plucked by a pendant and you got thread to help the bitch out who had the, the money in her titty. Okay, I, I just want to make sure I, I'm 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 tracking. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I want to be very in depth with my analysis about uh, stitches and titties. Uh, apparently, the body that you disposed of, homeboy was still alive. I so therefore, you. you are an accessory to murder. So that'll be 15 years. Huh? Get out there. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. Um. What? Hold up, excuse me? 15 years, but he's not dead. That should be ag assault. Ag assault or attempted murder. It shouldn't be murder because he's still alive. You can't get convicted of a murder if he's still alive. You can be convicted of conspiracy to conspiracy to commit murder, but no, the hell? He's still breathing. That's an oxymoron. You got convicted of murder, but he's alive though. So if you don't knock that charge down. And look at the lawyer, bruh, just let it happen. She like, wait a minute, this makes no sense. I struck a deal. And look at this middle earth elf ass acting like nothing happened. So he walks back and this whole time, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. So Jolene got packed up and she was sent off to the Green Dolphin Street prison. So while she's going through intake, she ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her, she's like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm gonna choke the shit out of your ass. So while he's driving away, one of her threads come through his AC, and she ended up choking the nigga. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a power I can get behind. Big damn. Nah, bro, she really liked that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco Baroco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's the rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about- Bitch, should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do what? yourself a favor and shut your ass up! So, so then we end up meeting her cellmate, on. Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws a whole barbell at her. And look at her, the bottom bunk is mine, you nasty b You could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant, and there's this bird, and there is a literal person in there. So then she over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody call PETA. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird, and that is out of commission. What? So then Pete down. Wes comes over and grabs her like a titan. Is she Okay, so am I alone, or did that not explain anything? Then Wes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. I'm I'm sorry, didn't What? What the f just happened? She what is what happened? What what happened? I I am I am thoroughly confused. What the f just happened? So she makes Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow again. So while she's running back to the gate, this ugly ass stand, oh my God, look like a gremlin. So she ends up getting stuck in this bar. So Google Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking that nigga. She's like, That's oh what I would've done. Is this, is this my stand? So she ends up rocking her shit. 
And look at it. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on a nigga, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. Yeah. Damn. She is beating the life out of her. So yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom bunk for my ass. Made her sorry ass take the top bunk. So then the next day, Jolene over by the phones and this girl come over and ask her for some money and she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change, but then Quest come back over and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a bitch. You best go get your money back or you gonna be looking like her. Uh, oh shit. Bitch. So Jolene goes and tracks her down and ask her for the money back, but then the girl says, Didn't I say I'll pay you back? What's wrong with you, nigga? Does your brain now work or something? Because obviously you can't process shit. So Jolene. Well, technically, technically, it's only been five minutes. <laughs> so if you give somebody the money, if like less than five minutes you ask for it back, what what where did you you didn't give her a time period to pay it back it's like if i gave my baby cousin a hundred dollars and then after i gave it to her five minutes later i'm like hey y'all i need my money back she hasn't even had time she just spent it how was she gonna get it back i'm just i mean like if it's been like a week or something okay then but like this is this was less than five minutes maybe it was eight episodes i don't know i don't watch jojo i don't know why jojo's little daughter is in a prison and her and she killed i don't know what half this shit is but what i am saying is at least give her a day to come up with the money damn walk back and she like all right then so she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee so she run off to the bathroom because she got a doodle -doo, but jolene sitting in the bathroom so she like okay i'm sorry i'll give you your money back you know what i'll even double it so she come out and smack the she like sold now give me that ten dollars appreciate doing business with you so then as she walking over to the door she sees this baseball and then she sees this little boy so then the kids start talking and he's saying you will have a visitor but do not meet the visitor so then, ah, what is happening right now? After this, the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks her in the head. Bro said, what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. <laughs> so then the next day, homeboy come back and he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. My <laughs> oh, and by the way, you got to visit him. So she goes to see the visitor, and it's none other than Joe Taroku Joe. I am him. Don't play with me, nigga. On the Dead Op Dio on Jonathan Joe Star's Heavenly Grave. I am him. So Jolene looking at him, and she like, oh, hell nah. So she socks the security guard, and she like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Because damn, it took you long enough. But Joe Taro's just looking at her like, Little girl, shut the f up and sit down. Listen, you were framed. My homeboy right here. You wanna know why you were framed? Because you are Joe Star. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off. And she ended up getting shot. Well, luckily she ended up stopping it. So John Gallier stand. What the f is going on? Man. Who the hell shot it? What? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Did I miss something? It's the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off. And she ended up getting shot. Well, luckily, she ended up stopping it. So John Gallier. Okay, so am I alone, or did that not explain anything? They stand Manhattan. No, I didn't miss anything. Okay, I'm just making sure. And transfer is like literal wall hacks with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell sniping. So the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security guard. He dead. Oh my God, first face Gabby and now face John Gallier. <laughs> God damn. Like who's next? Face Usopp? So later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. And what is all of this? Did somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, bro. I Nigga, pause. I, I got a dirty mind. No, we ain't doing this today. So then they escape the room, but then a guard approaches, and then another guard approaches, and the first one pops a cap in his ass. He dead. And they like, wait a damn minute, ain't no way. It's that nigga face, Gallier. That's a nigga. She cute. <laughs>
I'm sorry. It look like a bitch to me. She cute. Homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting, so Jotaro has to use Star Platinum, but then this stand ends up coming behind him. Bruh says, hmm, looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of White to Snake. So bro, hip slaps him, and these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro, what? basically- How the blood-soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Stole my dude's runes. Now he getting shot. Oh my God. So then Jolene puts him in a spin cycle and starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro, he's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. <laughs> now I'm about to pass help. <laughs> Is he dead? He dead! See, okay, I'm about to catch some heat. See, this is what I'm, this is what I'm telling y'all. In anime, right when the dad abandons the children, they come out perfectly fine. Look at Gohan. Look at Death Girl. I mean, she's in prison, but she can hold her own. What happened to Boruto? Killing you, but you're on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the ugliest scream I've ever heard. He's like, I apologize. No. That was the pinned on killing you, but f your arm. <laughs> I, no, I didn't see it at all. It's I look you dead in your eyes, bro. These eyes? Yes, those. Not these eyes. <laughs> that was the ugliest scream I've ever heard. Your arm. <laughs> that was the ugliest scream, but your arm. <laughs> Hey, bro, I don't intend on killing you, but f your arm. <laughs> fuck them kids. That nigga could fight to save his fucking life. So Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again, and he basically says, Yo, dad got his soul snatched. So we learn the kid's name is Emporio. And bro grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was raised here. Oh my god. This nigga's Bane. I was born in it, molded by it. So we go back to face John Gallier after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up and he's like, Hmm, looks like you got your ass beat. So therefore, you're kicked from face. Hey, dad! Okay, so JoJo was on her adventures. Um, when did it get gangster? Cause I, okay, I watched the first three episodes of JoJo, and I'm sorry, I could not get past his that that guy who talks. I forgot his name. Uh, no, it's not that. It's it, he has a name, Trolley something, Hunter Trolley. It, no, he's a character that talks. It has nothing to do with sub versus dub. He just talks. His name is like Will. Oh, I'm thinking about um, Hunter, um, Hunter, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter X Hunter. No, it's, it's I'm talking about JoJo. I don't know the nigga who talks a lot. Uh, something wagon wheel or some shit like that. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying. This Jolene ended up getting another five years added onto her sentence because of that escape, and she got stuck in the punishment war for like. <laughs> weeks so a few weeks end up passing so they got everybody outside so the warden like all right everybody listen to f up we had two inmates go missing the other day so uh huh, somebody need to go find their asses so jolene volunteers in armies as well because she's like hmm have to tell her about my side quest so they have to put these bombs on their wrists like they're the suicide squad or something so the guard says if you get 50 meters away from me yo ass goes boom boom so he ends up getting on a four-wheeler and he takes off so they like wait a damn minute Hold on, homeboy, you going a little too fast. So later on, Ernie's ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, hmm, what's up, girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see, what had happened was... So if they only get 50 meters away from him, they'll blow up. So, so the only thing that you can do is just chop off his arm. A brain on some other shit. That's it. I mean, like, because, I mean, if you're going to be a dick and ride off with a four-wheeler, 
while I'm trying to while I'm trying to have a full blooded conversation with you, then then I could just chop off your arm so so we don't have to have these problems anymore. Okay, you just be a missing arm, bitch, and then we can find a girl. And then if you if you if you catch some sense, hopefully we can reattach it. Shit, I got some magical string. I can do some shit. I don't know. Nice work, brain. You're welcome. I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating him with a broom. And then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen. And he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also met the little nigga with the baseball cap. So uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they walking, the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are now six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. Mm -hmm. So then the bombs start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then a girl in the back, like, wait a minute, why is mine beeping faster? Hello? What the fuck? Oh, she did. Oh my God. Beat down. That's got to be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on him and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up smacking this one girl. So Army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? I woke up Chris Breezy. And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. And then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. What in the invader Zim is that? So then a Stan starts talking like, My name is Foo Fighters, put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my set and run up on my lake? So homeboy start moving like an exoskeleton. Ugh. So then Jolie starts chasing after him, and then he's like, Oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty bitch. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? But the dirt ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolene stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass, green bean looking ass alive? We should feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said, no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Pokemon, a Jobro. So they end up finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl that got blown up earlier then pulled back up. And she like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body with this old pineapple head ass hair cause she got had a leaf on her head. <laughs> so they end up getting picked up by all the cops. So later on that evening, we see White Snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. I am that good. He cute. Hey there, Cherry. What's your name? He cute, though. They really make me have eyelash envy, though. But he cute. I don't know what's going on with his haircut. It reminds me of uh, Chris Rock. And not Chris Rock. Chris Tucker in one of those, um, that old school movie where he was uh, playing that, um, that, uh, space space uh he was playing a space superstar i forgot what it's called but y'all can put put it over there y'all y'all already know go ahead and time stamp it too father i was wondering if i could get parole <laughs> parole you must be out of your damn mind well father I, 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 don't speak until i tell you to speak bitch yes father now then sister have you paid your tithes and offerings this month um no father mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nah, boo-boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? Uh, no, Father. Oh, oh sweet no. Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But, Father, I promise you to I woke up Chris Breezy. My, my, my. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she shall return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. So be not worried when she must return from when she came. Nigalations chapter 1 verse 1 through 3 <laughs> Drill that into your head bitch. So So is everybody a, a, a CD ROM? Is everybody Does everybody just got a CD disc in the back of their head? It's I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of context So basically you just punch a person And their CDs come out And then you punch them again And you can put their CDs back in So they're like a they're like a DVD player. You just hit the button and come out, put the CDs in, push it back in. Is it like that? Because is 
is the way they stay alive is the cd roms in their head do they have ram i i don't know do they have different processes i don't know one girl one girl can make a bitch small and the other girl can it's spider-man i have no idea what the fuck's going on but later on while they outside playing catch this one girl starts sipping on ff water like, hey, go get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. So they keep on playing catch. And the girl that Poochie beat up pull up and she like, I bet y'all $100 y'all won't last. So Jolene like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. She said, it don't matter. I'll take anything of value. So Jolene's like, no, but then Armies comes up and she's like, yo, Jolene, we cannot pass this up. You see how many racks she got in her sock? We playing the game. So they start playing the game, but then Foo Fighters gets distracted. She like, hey, f away from my cup, nigga. So she almost dropped the damn ball, but they end up making it to 100. So then she like, all right, then I right. Throw it 100 more times and I'll give you a whole band. Take it or leave it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You telling me she got a whole band in prison? Ain't no way, bro. What type of operation is she running up in here? So they playing for- I'm sorry, that's hella too suspect. Why is it that when some said it's too good to be true, I, I, don't, I don't trust it. I'd be like, nah, man, I just take my money and go home. That's like when I went to the roulette table and when I went to Mississippi and everything else, I went to this roulette table. I'm being dead serious. I, I walked away. I walked away from this roulette table, I think $400 more. And I, because I only, I, I bet some outside and then I just put it on double zero. I do, I put it on um, zero and double zero. I put uh, like, I think about $50 on those and it hit double zero, then it hit zero, then it hit double zero, then it hit zero. And then they were like, oh snap, you should keep going. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, and if you do a split at the top, that is 17, 17 to one. That's and everything else. So I left a little bit more than that, but I, I, I just, I was like, nah, you know what? The Lord's telling me to leave. So I left, I, I leave casinos when I, when I'm on my high, as in if I win two times, three times, four times, if I win four times, I, it's time for me to go. No, mm -mm. For a thousand dollars now, but it's starting to get late. But then the guard come behind her. He's like, "Hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn ball down." So she like, "Okay, here, here, here. I'll pay you for more time." So he like, "All right, then. I'll be taking the glove, though." So she ends up almost dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently, that was against the rules. So then, old girl Stan comes out. Stan was like, "Pay your debt." So it rips out the money that was stuck in her sock. No, 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 no. Oh no. I boo. This she like, hmm, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking your lip. Oh. Oh my god. Hell no. Till the no no no. Hell till the no. Oh my titties. Oh my god. They're still there. Oh my oh my lord. What the fuck is y'all problem? Oh my god. Hurt my liver over looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can get her liver back. So they keep on running, so now they stuck on an elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Said, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And look at the ugly ass. She's like, <laughs> game over, nigga. Now pay your debt, bitch. But then she ends up smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Stupid ass. Now I'm about to beat you like my great grand uncle. Holy shit. <laughs> she made it rain up in that hoe. So then the next day she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f Hold on, hold on, take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. <laughs> bitch, give me that. Take a coat too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So then she ends up calling the Speedwagon Foundation. So they like, that, all right, listen. That's his name, Speedwagon. We still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. So then she ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She got the Kodak going on and everything. So she started yelling, but then she saw that money. She said, you can pass. So then she sees Emporio again. And he says, bring your ass over here. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on, what is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? <laughs> Weather That's report, a good I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. 
So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole belt out of my ass. I'm literally a video game character inventory. So they gonna Damn. try to get to the courtyard so Weather Report is gonna come along and help. And my God, homie getting real close to, hey, what's good with you? So they head into the courtyard and what is that? Oh, no, nah, bro, look at him. Look at his shoes. This game rejects Spider-Man concept art. So while old Doodle Man's on the prowl, Jolene starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. So they end up following old Doodle Man to this room and he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Bro made the room a vacuum. So then Weather Report ends up making some cloud suits. And then they end up beating Doodle Man's ass. Thank God, bro, get him off of my screen. Like, yo, this man Lang Wrangler gives me absolute nightmares. Like, when I think of the Boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the door starts to open and Poochie is at the door. Bro, looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now or let her pass? So she's like, please, father, let me pass. He gonna just beat looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So oh, she finally mind. makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him and this man pulls out the blinky. Damn. Poochie's like, ah, ha, ha, stupid bitch. You really thought you was gonna get out of here with that disc? So we get a flashback to 1988, and this man Poochie is chilling with the biggest hater in anime history. Is it? This man Dio, the ultimate hating ass nigga. Bro's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who <laughs> I really hate though? Them goddamn Joe stars. So Poochie ended up learning the ways of Dio to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. So weather reporters over here beat up and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining. Breaking news out in Florida. It is literally raining frogs out there. I mean, it is Florida. <laughs> Are we surprised that like this happens? No, no we aren't. So no. yeah, this man weather report literally started making it rain poisonous frogs. So this man Poochie's like, God, Damn, I got all this shit on my $800 pants, nigga. So he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Poochie sees his guard. He's like, hey, cut up at the door. I cannot see. I'm legally blind. But he starts running away. So he's like, you pussy. So he kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blind. Oh, yeah. damn. He got the dude to open the door and he just left. So he walks outside to go get the disc from Jolene, but she was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this man. Um, maybe next time y'all can actually say what the fuck the contact looked like or something or give like a description or a cold word or something like that. Jesus Christ. Poochie was pissed. He goes over to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something, bitch? You ain't do jack shit, nigga. That's why your daddy did. And you will always be a fatherless ass child. So White Snake left. Jolene went to the ICU. And it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. So yeah, that was Beyond Scared Straight JoJo Edition. So uh hope y'all enjoyed. Uh also 1 million subscribers. Thank shout out, shout out, much. shout out, shout out. It's very it's just mind-boggling to me. Like for real, like I'm just a dude that just likes to watch anime and talk about it. And it's just crazy to me, you know, that like we, we really up in here now. So uh, thank y'all so much, man. Uh make sure y'all go follow my other socials and uh I am out of here. So uh, let me just let me just give my last uh, running piece with this one. I don't know what the hell happened, but um, I feel like I went on an acid trip with JoJo. Um, but uh, <laughs> did I enjoy it? Yes, I did enjoy it. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what episode what where he pulled this from. I started off in the beginning where everybody always say, you need to start an anime off in the beginning because of the fact of the matter is you won't understand the anime if you don't do that, Shay. I started off the anime in the beginning. I watched four episodes and I said, I hated fucking JoJo. Maybe I need to start off where, where the girl is in prison or some shit. I don't even know. Is this JoJo? Um, 
his daughter edition i have no idea there's so many i i don't know what the fuck is going on in jojo i i don't know but did i enjoy it yes links for the original creator will be down below of course and um th and you can follow all my socials up here of course of course and 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 you can follow all my socials up here uh links for my cosplays will be down below if you want to help us throw out and of course if you want to join you, you get free emails and free uh, early access to my video not free emails while i'm lying you get emails and you get early access to my videos and everything else so i just want to say thank you thank you thank you i did not hit 1 million but i hit 7 thousand. i am so happy i'm so blessed I really, really, really cannot wait until I hit 901 so it can be over 9,000. And I know that is a reference for Vegeta making to Kakarot, but I am coming around to Kakarot. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm lying, but you know what? Progress. I at least did men I I'd be giving Kakarot, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, compliments nowadays there you go see i can grow but anyway my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for sure i still hate kakarot and like my grandma always says so long animals and bitches feeling like the serengeti on that trail tip you know i'm always stuck with the machetes that your mama's gripping bitch so she ain't serving the spaghetti hey, shit ain't sweet you said you got the number one well bitch you missed